subway, please? That'll be downstairs. He was just a kid from Vermont, without an MBA, a resume, or even a reference. All he wanted was a job. Be at this address tomorrow afternoon at 2 o'clock. Yet, on his very first interview... God almighty. Clark, this is my uncle, Carmine Sabatini. I bet I know what you're thinking, a resemblance, right? I can't believe it. They made him an offer. I want you to take this totally with as my wife for $1,000 a week, and I know that you're not going to disappoint me. He couldn't possibly refuse. We call this the hand of friendship. Oh, I don't see how I could say no. Brando. This is not a yes. I want to hear yes. Broderick. Yes. I'm so happy. I don't know why I'm so happy. The freshman. The son I never had. Oh. Panic is on the streets. Crime is on the loose. And one woman is on the scene. I'm a reporter. Brooke Shields. I'm ready. Is everybody's favorite ace reporter, Brenda Starr. Oh, my gosh. She doesn't just find the news. Come on, pal. Let's have it. She lives it. Timothy Dalton is the stranger. I'm Basil St. John. A man of mystery who holds the key to the greatest story of her career. The survival of the free world depends upon it. What do they want? You. Danger has a new shape. Romance has a new feel. Take us to the Amazon. The horses cost extra. And action has a brand new style. Wow. Never tangle with a redhead. Brooke Shields, Timothy Dalton. Basil. Brenda. Adventure never looked so good. Brenda Starr. He's the dreamer who charmed the world. The hero who never gave up. The clown who became one of the most beloved characters in animated history. And now, Felix is a major motion picture. The cat is back. Felix the cat. The movie. With Poindexter. The Professor, and a galaxy of new friends on a journey to majestic skies. Mystical lands. And magical seas. Felix is ready with his bag of tricks. To the land of Zill. For the adventure of his life. All nine of them. Felix the Cat. The movie. A landmark in cinema enchantment. Well, I don't know about the rest of you guys. But me and Ricky are going swimming! <laughs> All their lives, they stood by what they believed in. Friends, family. But most of all... Freeze! The law. Be inspectors! They were L.A.'s finest. Nothing could break up this team. Until they got too close to a case no cop was supposed to solve. We went in without a backup, without a warrant, without probable cause. We're talking major drug money here. First, they lost a friend. I don't want it to be different. <laughs> you have been charged with the fatality of Officer Howard Jones. I resign. It's 
really what you want, isn't it? Then they lost their badges. What do you think? The department is going to go after Hojo's killer? What the hell do you think that FBI guy was doing at Frank's hearing? We can only do this on our own. You gonna go out and break the law now? Turn into a vigilante? If we've got any weapons, we're gonna need money. Mm. They may be off the force, but they're a force. Dedication to fire! All their own. And then if we did this every day, you know where we'd be? Yeah, we'd be dead. You're interfering in interests you don't understand, mister. Now they're going where no cop would dare. We have those weapons, and we must supply them to our friends now. You tried to hurt my family. We got their laundry money. <laughs> ride, mama, ride. Woo! No badges. I mean, with $22 million, we could buy our own country. This is the money that killed Howard. No backup. Well, if we take this money, we're no better than they are. When it's too hot to handle. It's blue heat. Now, this is a real nice house. It's one of the nicest we've ever moved anyone like you into. Hey, Linda, what do you think? I always promised you a nice house somewhere in America. Let's not get carried away, okay, Vinny? Uh, it's going to be a lot easier if you two start calling each other Terry and Todd. It's a nice house, Terry, okay? No, you're Terry and he's Todd. When will for will call me. I'm a new man. This is not the old me. This is the new me. And even is nice. Anyway, if you have any questions at all, just give me a call. Thanks for everything. I really appreciate it. This is my job. I get paid. You don't tip FBI men. Sure you do. I need you to mind. Please help This is not a dump site for the toxic waste of criminal America. That's my last man. Spit that out. Spit that out right this minute. There's Molly and me. Good morning, sir. Would you like to try a vanilla brand oat crunchy? What do you think? I just want you to keep your nose clean. Capiche? You trying to say capiche? Yeah. Well, don't do it, because it hurts my ears when you do it. Warner Brothers presents the comedy that asks the question, can an urban hood find suburban hood in... Hi, Todd. Hi, Todd. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Brody. Bye. Have a nice day. Up yours. Something happened last night. I met a man from another planet. Arnold Zimmerman. You're not from around here, are you? Have you told anyone else about this? Do you think I'm crazy? Are you from out of state? Not exactly, George. I'm from another planet. <laughs> yeah, let, me, let me just get this straight here. Uh, you build shopping malls on, uh, on the planet Corope? No. I live on Corope. I work on Zabar. Zabar? Zabar. Zabar. Z-A-B-A-R. They don't seem to have any problem breathing in our atmosphere. Are you kidding? This is the cleanest air I've breathed all day. Susie and I think you ought to see a psychiatrist. I am not seeing a shrink. Do you think you can give us a physical description of the being that you saw? Ethel Merman. He looked just exactly like Ethel Merman. Fresh like it, too. One day they're fine, the next, seen I'll see. What are you looking at? Go! Oh. Ah. Can you keep a secret? Of course not, dear. Don't be silly. We are building you a landing pad. You'll have to apply for the appropriate permits. Well, Walker, oh. Rich Holly, KLC Get a grip on yourself. There is no alien. We're the laughing stock of this country. It made us look like the whole town is in on this craziness. This has got to be the end, Dad. How can you believe that man is really from another planet? I mean, he looks like he came from Cleveland. George Walters has just met Arnold Zimmerman. And he's from another planet. Richard Mulligan and Bo Bridges, UFO Cafe. Maybe there are intelligent beings out there someplace, but do you seriously think that they walk around carrying briefcases and calling themselves Arnold? UFO Cafe, a place where dreams come true. Whenever you rent or buy a video, you need to be sure that the film you choose is suitable for the audience at home. To help you, 
there are certificates given to films which tell you broadly what the film is like. This film has been classified PG, that stands for Parental Guidance, which means that parents might want to check up on it before showing it to their younger children. If it's an action film, it might have some violence. If it's romantic, it might have some sexy scenes or very brief nudity. It might also have some of the milder swear words. Video certificates are there to give you the chance to make an informed choice. They allow you to have peace of mind and be entertained. Thanks for listening. Enjoy the film.